So you'd say your financial situation is serious. For the stars of Blood and Water, it's both a treat and an acting feat. The characters of this groundbreaking series speak English, Mandarin, and Cantonese. My Mandarin's okay, but seeing an entire paragraph, I can't read either. So I had to go to my parents and be like, please translate this for me in a way that I can actually memorize it. Anna? Damn, you're not allowed back there. So arrest me. Maybe I'll get to Charles faster. But the series creators are confident the essence of their crime drama airing on the Omni network won't get lost in translation. We decided to create a human story, first and foremost. But they know what they know. A human story told in a way many feel is long overdue on Canadian television. More than one million Canadians report speaking Mandarin, Cantonese or another Chinese dialect at home. And yet shows depicting this complexity, linguistic and otherwise, are nowhere to be found. When I did uh, see the role, I was so excited. Loretta Yu plays the pregnant widow of a drug addict who comes into conflict with her late husband's wealthy family. For me, playing a character like Teresa, who's sort of down and out and like, you know, caught on the wrong side of the tracks, I've never seen an Asian character like that before. But we might all be seeing more in the future. The organizers of Toronto's Real Asian Film Festival say there is a market for shows like Blood and Water. Since the festival's inception 19 years ago, they've seen their audience numbers quadruple. <laughs> And subtitles, long seen as a barrier for English-speaking audiences, no longer put off prospective viewers. We have such a huge immigrant population, and we have such like, a need for shows like that for to consume. And so I feel like shows like that will only, the number of the shows like that will only increase. Pablo Emilio Escobar Gaviria. Netflix's Narcos, for example, is increasing in popularity. It's broadcast mostly in Spanish. I mean, this is the age of authenticity, right? Um, you know, there are a lot of Nordic shows that, that those crime shows speaking Swedish and Danish, and they're all subtitled. I mean, last time I, I checked, most of us don't, don't speak, you know, Danish. But the shows are still gripping. Which could spell out true. success for blood and water in any language. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, so. Toronto.